What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going on a little trip. Don't worry, we're gonna stay in the car, but we have something really special. Hey, should, ah! should, should, we, should we tell them what we're going? Uh, we are going to a donut place! So uh, Mr. Blabbermouth over here just let us know that we're gonna take a little trip. We're going to Cambridge, New York, where there's a little cart called King's Bakery that every Sunday morning, they wheel out the cart and they usually you can go up and you can pick up donuts but we've caught we've called it an order we're doing contactless pickup and we're gonna get some donuts guys so stay tuned we're gonna show you that this place makes the most amazing donuts it's, there's a personal story behind this place for us I'm gonna fill you in on that whole story as the as the ride and as the video progresses here what's up YouTube today I'm going to tell you about my suit you're out difficult right now to find activities to do that you know don't require going out but we figured this was a nice thing to do it's subsequently Easter morning so you know figure we would do something that is kind of our anniversary is coming up so this is kind of our anniversary gift plus you know a little Easter getaway for us Cambridge New York actually holds a pretty a big historical significance for our relationship and um, the reason being is we actually got engaged at Cambridge, New York. And the story behind that is I've told the story a lot in the past and I'll link to the blog post where, uh, you know, we went to the Cambridge Hotel and it was all part of Hotel Hell with Gordon Ramsay. But I figured it was a nice thing to do and we tied it to some kind of something with some cultural significance when I decided to propose to Cassie back in 2012. We figured this morning, one of the things we did that weekend was got donuts at the King's Bakery donut cart. So we're gonna do that this morning and, you know, expose Noah to the amazing donuts that they make. They make a donut called the Bismarck that is absolutely incredible and I had to have one of those. And then we just got a whole bunch of other donuts to share. So, you know, we'll, we'll taste them and let you know how they are. <music> there you can see it there on the left the cart there you can I don't know if you can see but there's two guys talking there kind of right where Cassie is that's the King Bakery cart they have a whole bunch of boxes of donuts I think at least one of those is ours so we are gonna see how these look it's gonna be incredible I can already tell you because we've already had these donuts a couple times now and they're absolutely amazing so the way it happened Back around 2011, 2012, Gordon Ramsay was gigantic. I, I was into him a lot. I, I ended up purchasing basically all the books that he had published. I had really wanted to eat at a restaurant that he did for Kitchen Nightmares. Kitchen Nightmares was kind of winding down at the time, but he was coming out with this new show called Hotel Hell, where he was kind of expanding into more hospitality type renovations that he was doing. So they actually came to a place here called the Cambridge Hotel which is where apple pie a la mode actually was invented, which is actually another funny story. I applied to be a diner at the restaurant on the before. I mean, who wants to eat before the place is renovated? But I thought it would be fun to be part of kind of like a cultural, you know, television event. We, we, were, we were actually selected. We did eat there before. I didn't think the food was that bad, honestly, to be honest with you. I mean, it was probably like processed you know Cisco food but they did a good job it was kind of a fun place to be they have a nice little bar after that whole thing you know Gordon Ramsay actually didn't show up the night we were there supposedly he was on the way they kept telling us I don't know I if you watch the episode there's not a whole lot of footage of him there before the renovation what I figured what would be a nice thing to do is to actually see what the restaurant looks like after the renovation and even the hotel so I had reached out to 
the owner's daughter to to make a reservation to stay at the hotel in one of the renovated rooms on uh, it was the weekend before valentine's day it was either before or after but i uh, didn't want to propose on valentine's day so we, we got the room we actually got the balcony room when we arrived in cambridge that day the first thing that we did was checked into the room went onto the the balcony over overlooking cambridge and proposed i proposed to cassie there we ate at the restaurant. I, I didn't think the food was that great or that bad after, but we went and that that's kind of his history. That, that's our little connection to Cambridge, Gordon Ramsay, and what we're looking back on right now. So this is the Cambridge Hotel, well, well formerly the Cambridge Hotel, now the Cambridge and Assisted Living. And that balcony right there on the second floor is where Cassie and I were engaged. And this is Cambridge. You can see it's a really nice little quaint town. There's kind of this little railroad station there, which is where they had us waiting to get into the hotel. They call it the depot. There's a bookstore up that way. And there's a co-op, which is a nice little supermarket that we went to that, that, um, that day. Train tracks. And then the, the bakery cart, which we walked to, the morning after we were engaged is basically all the way down there. So running down our order, we got two limoncello, two strawberry rhubarb, two granulated raspberry, three Bismarck, one peanut butter filled, one maple cream, one apple fritter. We're gonna split most of these, but you see that one there with the, with the cream, the frilly cream? That is the Bismarck. And I think Noah's excited to try these. This is the Noah. This is the one we got three of so we can all Wait, family cheers. Hey, you You're the cheers one who first. wanted a family oh, cheers. Oh, All right. right. Ready? One, two, three, cheers. Cheers. All right, time to dig in here. Mm. The cream is like what you want to be inside of a, like a Twinkie. It's, it's that style of a cream, but it's so much more rich and so incredible. How's yours, Noah? I was just telling Cassie that it's a little bit depressing, but I guess kind of it's all right, but that now the Cambridge Hotel is no longer a hotel, but is assisted living. But I guess maybe that means that we can go back there one day and just take everything full circle, you know? We gotta look at the bright side on things, right? First donut up, we have peanut butter cream. You can see it's got like a cream and then kind of an icing on top. That is very strong peanut butter cream. Totally delicious. I really don't know that I'm gonna try all these right now. So we'll get a good cross section. The ones that are specialty flavors for today are lemoncello cream and strawberry rhubarb, which I think- Lemoncello mousse. Lemoncello mousse and strawberry, strawberry rhubarb cream, which are, I think, two that I definitely wanna try right now. We're having trouble because all of them have the same white icing on top, except the peanut butter. That one was pretty easy to pick out. This is strawberry rhubarb cream. So let's- That's a really good one. It's got little, there's little flecks of rhubarb in here. It's not overly sweet. A lot of times when you, when people make donut fillings, they're overly sweet. This one is subtle in the sweetness, but the rhubarb really comes out when you bite into it. Hold it around. There's a good mix of like sour and sweet, and you can taste the fruit and the rhubarb. Outstanding. Here's a limoncello mousse. It doesn't have quite as much filling. Definitely get the lemon flavor. It's it's kind of on the back end. This one's a little more sweet, I would say. Subtle in lemon flavor, but I don't really like the donuts that have like that lemon pudding inside. I don't even know how to describe what it is. But this is more of a cream. Definitely very good. The, the donuts are all the same, I think. They have like this really thick exterior. Love these donuts. Next up, we have raspberry filled. This is like a very thick, like almost like the premium jellies you get at the supermarket. But this is clearly homemade. It's almost got like a bitterness to it. This is awesome. Probably the best raspberry donut I've ever had. I think the agreement here is that the raspberry jelly is like a can't miss type experience. The Bismarck is another one. So Bismarck's my favorite. Raspberry jelly is probably my second favorite. 
The others are very good. You can't go wrong with any of these, but those, the Bismarck and the Raspberry Jelly are essential if you do stop at the cart. Don't forget, drop a like on this video down below and comment if you've been to King's or if you wanna to go to King's. I, I'd love to hear your experiences with the donut cart, if you've ever even been out to Cambridge, New York. If you remember the Gordon Ramsay episode of Hotel Hell, comment below. Subscribe to the channel for more. I'm gonna try to highlight lo more local businesses for their takeout services in the upcoming weeks. And we will catch you in the next video. One, two, three, four. I declare a thumb war. Ah, one, oh, two, one, two, three. Oh, you beat me. I got you. I got you.